Hi everyone and welcome back to another Bioscience Clean Academy video. I'm Dr. Alexis Stevens, a board certified dermatologist, and I am going to help you to navigate safe skincare options, especially those for anti-aging as well as stretch marks. I have already recorded a video for you over on my channel in regards to acne and hyperpigmentation during pregnancy. So today, let's really focus on those anti-aging concerns that you may have. Before we begin, congratulations, mama. You are amazing. You are creating this little human inside of you. And I know that you are here, clicked on this video because you are very mindful of what you're putting on your skin. You wanna make sure that you're not using any ingredients that are gonna be hurtful or harmful to the baby. And I am here to help you. So the first thing we do in any skincare routine, whether it is for anti-aging, acne, hyperpigmentation, etc., is cleanse. You actually want to make sure that we are cleansing with the best, most nourishing cleanser you can because this is super important. Your cleansing is your first step. The last thing you wanna do is get this very first step off on the wrong foot. So make sure that you're using a gentle cleanser that won't strip your skin membrane barrier. I actually love this one here by Biosauce. It's their Squalene Antioxidant Cleansing Oil. This is such an amazing option because it has the antioxidants in there, which means you're already starting the day off with a nice defense against all of the pollutants and environmental stressors that can wreak havoc on your skin. So making sure that you use a great cleanser is going to get you off on the right foot. Now, any effective anti-aging routine really needs to fight against the four main reasons that we start to see visible signs of aging with that first one actually being UV rays and environmental stressors. So you can defend against this with sunscreen and antioxidants. With the second one being uneven skin tone and hyperpigmentation. Again, vitamin C will play a huge role in this as will sunscreen, but things that help to brighten the skin like a vitamin C, white shiitake mushroom, really can start to play a role as well as AHAs or glycolic lactic mandelic acid. These can help to increase cell turnover which reveal brighter skin. The third cause of visible signs of aging is collagen breakdown. So we wanna have products that will help to build our collagen and also prevent the degradation or the breakdown of collagen. Vitamin C will play a huge role in this as will phytoretinol or bacuchiol. And lastly, we lose our ceramides as we age. Yep, we start to lose even our ceramides as we age. So lipids are really important because we're losing them <laughs> after a certain age. So maintaining a healthy skin barrier and using ingredients that will replenish those ceramides will be key. So using a really good moisturizer helps with the anti-aging process. Now these are general rules and guidelines, but of course you want to check with your own OBGYN to make sure that they agree with these ingredients because your pregnancy and your growing baby is your own unique situation and you always wanna get the okay from the OB. All right guys, so now that you know the categories and the ingredients, that will help us to safely fight against the visible signs of aging while pregnant and nursing, let's jump into a regimen. Now, once you've cleansed your skin, you can start with your anti-aging regimen. In the morning, I highly recommend a vitamin C serum. Vitamin C is so crucial for anti-aging because it boost collagen, but it also prevents the degradation or the breakdown of collagen. It also helps to even out the skin tone, keeping things bright and radiant. So a couple of reasons that we start to look a little bit older. Collagen breakdown, which leads to more visible and enlarged pores. It also leads to fine lines and wrinkles. And let's be honest, now that we are growing a human, we may not be sleeping as well as we used to, especially as we grow a little bit larger. And so those fine lines and wrinkles can actually start to creep up a little bit sooner than we want because we're not getting as much rest as we need. So using a nice collagen boosting product like a vitamin C will be really important in your skincare regimen. Vitamin C is such an important antioxidant. In fact, in my opinion, as well as many other dermatologists, it's the most important antioxidant to have in any skincare regimen because it's helping you fight off those 
free radicals from the UV rays, the visible light spectrum, pollutants, and other environmental stressors that we come in contact with every single day. Plus, it's been proven to boost the effectiveness of your sunscreen. So vitamin C is an absolute must and staple in any skincare regimen. I really love this one here by Biosense. Their Squalene Vitamin Rose Oil is such a beautiful texture. It gives an immediate radiance and I love using this on my skin, whether I'm having makeup or I'm going makeup free. It just gives me that little extra something that someone always says, your skin is glowing. And I'm like, yeah, thanks, it's my vitamin C. So outside of vitamin C, you really want to look at the other factors that cause aging. So yes, vitamin C will help us to increase radiance, boost collagen, but we also need things that are going to help with that skin moisture barrier. Another huge factor in aging or showing the visible signs of aging is the fact that we lose our ceramides as we get a little bit older. Now, ceramides are crucial in any skincare regimen, but extremely important in skin barrier health, which you want completely intact while pregnant. I love the Biosense Omega Repair Cream and also the Squalene Probiotic Gel Moisturizer for this reason, because they are rich in vitamin F, or what's known as unsaturated fatty acids, omega specifically, six and nine. These are linoleic acids, or you can just call them vitamin F. Plus they are the superior hydrators for anyone with acne or hyperpigmentation. In fact, omega rich moisturizers, specifically a linoleic acid, has been proven to be something called a tyrosinase inhibitor, which helps to decrease the overproduction of melanin or pigment. So they are going to be key for anyone fighting hyperpigmentation as well. All right, next up, the most important part of any skincare routine is sunscreen. Biosense Squalene Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen is definitely one of my favorites. In fact, if you've seen any of my videos before, you've heard me talk about this one. I absolutely love it because it blends in flawlessly with my skin tone. And I have a deeper, a richer, melanated skin tone, and this looks amazing on me. So I really love this one. I highly recommend a mineral sunscreen during pregnancy. We know that mineral is perfectly safe to use. It's made with zinc oxide, which is the same thing found in baby's diaper rash cream. So you don't have to worry about that. This is one of my favorites because it's broad spectrum SPF 30 PA++++. So this is super important because it means you've got really good UVA and UVB light protection. And pregnancy is a state that really puts you at increased risk for hyperpigmentation, things like post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or dark spots and melasma, which I talk about over on my channel as well. Also, as we are pregnant, the estrogen causes more pigmentation in the skin. And an uneven skin tone is another reason that we may look a little bit older than we want to. All right, morning routine is done. It was super simple. We cleansed, we used a vitamin C, we followed it up with a moisturizer and then a sunscreen. Now it's nighttime. We're going to cleanse the skin again, gentle cleanser, again, super important. And now we can go in with our anti-aging products. I love this Squalene Phyto Retinol Serum. Now, retinols are something that cannot be used during pregnancy. We're talking about traditional retinols or the vitamin A derivatives. So things like retinol, retinaldehyde, retinol esters, and the prescription ones. So tretinoin, and especially not isotretinoin, which is taken by mouth, because these have been known to cause birth defects in that beautiful growing baby. We definitely don't wanna risk that, so we don't even wanna risk putting it on topically. So what do we do, especially for those patients of mine who have become extremely reliant on retinol? You can use Bacuchiol. So the Phyto Retinol in this serum is Bacuchiol, and Bacuchiol has been clinically proven to be very similar to retinol without the irritation. So you get similar collagen building and the decrease of collagen breakdown properties, but you also get things like evening out the skin tone and acne improvement. In addition to all of that amazingness, it's got niacinamide. Now niacinamide is one of those ingredients that have been proven to be super effective for so many different things and plays well 
synergistically actually with most other ingredients. Niacinamide has been proven to help even out skin tone by decreasing pigment transfer, really help to boost the skin barrier health by increasing the ceramide production. It helps to decrease sensitivity and redness on the skin. It's anti-inflammatory. It's got antibacterial properties. It's just an all-star and it tends to make every other product work better. It works synergistically with everyone. So the fact that it's been put into this amazing serum is just an extra bonus. It's like the icing on the cake. However, this is completely pregnancy safe, but I would check with your OBGYN, just like you should be doing for every single product mentioned here. Everyone's body is different, everyone's baby is different, and your doctor may have a different suggestion for you. So you always want to check. Now the nights that you feel like you need a little bit of an extra boost and you just want a little more radiance to the skin, I highly recommend incorporating the squalene lactic acid resurfacing serum now lactic acid is one of those ingredients that is multifaceted because it gently exfoliates but it also is quite a powerful hydrator once you get lactic acid on the skin it actually mixes with the minerals and becomes this really super house humectant which means it's a magnet for water so it's exfoliating so that you get that quicker cell turnover which is really important in anti-aging it brings those plump juicy young cells up to the top and it helps the older cells slough off so that's really important but it also has great hydrating power so you're not damaging your skin barrier in any way i highly recommend incorporating lactic acid into any anti-aging skincare routine whether you're pregnant or not but it's pregnancy safe. Now lactic acid, especially when pregnant, is one of those ingredients you want to be really safe with because of the way that it's formulated. Lactic acid isn't indeed an acid. In order for it to be brought up to a pH that's safe for the skin, you have to add certain neutralizers. Now some of these neutralizers that are added are not safe for pregnancy. So I really recommend this one here because the formulation includes neutralizers that are indeed pregnancy safe. And of course you wanna cap off any and every skincare routine at night with a nice moisturizer. I highly recommend choosing one of the two. If you're oily, you may want to go with the probiotic gel moisturizer because it's a little more lightweight. And if you are dry, like me, you'll want to go with the Squalene Omega Repair Cream. But truly, you can't go wrong with either one of them. All right, guys, so I posted over on my stories for you to ask me all of your skincare pregnancy-related questions. And the overwhelming majority of you asked me about preventing stretch marks. I will be honest with you, stretch marks are difficult. There is a huge genetic component to whether or not you are more likely to develop stretch marks than someone else. However, there are things you can do to try and minimize your stretch marks or prevent them if you're lucky. I highly recommend these two products for treating and preventing stretch marks. These are both pregnancy safe. The first one is the Squalene Glycolic Renewal Mask. Now, just because it's a mask doesn't mean that you can't use it on your belly. This has a glycolic acid, which is an amazing anti-aging ingredient, but it's also really great for scars because it helps with cell turnover. I also recommend using the squalling oil because this is amazing for hydration. That's the most important thing when you are fighting any type of stretch marks is hydration. I use this so much throughout my pregnancy because I was so itchy and it really helps to relieve itching as well. Hydration and cell turnover are the two best things that you can do while pregnant. Now after you're pregnant, there are a lot of other things that you can start to incorporate like a retinol, but as we talked about, not pregnancy safe. So go ahead and hydrate and resurface the skin a couple of times a week. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please leave any questions that you have down below for me. You'll also find every product that we talked about down below in the description box. And I wish you a safe, happy, and healthy pregnancy. Be well.